we deployed to North Carolina actually last year about this time and uh, actually worked in a shelter and a reception center uh, but as well uh, we had to sleep in a shelter just like this. And you realize that uh, there is a stress level that people live through when they are displaced and uh, out of home and as volunteers we knew we were going back to a, a safe home and a safe family environment and we had everything to go back to and, and a lot of these people with the hurricane that came through had really literally nothing to go back to. We've helped people in floods, hurricanes, forest fires and it's, it's a really good sense to know that you know we've helped people a little bit to um, give them some level of comfort uh, when they're removed from their homes. There's a there's a lot of work to be done you know in the event of a, of a response a disaster. A lot of people think they don't want to volunteer because they're working and you know I can't respond all the time and as we tell our friends you know it's like if you're called on to respond if you can respond, do it. If you can't, say sorry next time. For a working person, for example, the personal disaster program where they can, you know, meet with uh, a family of a house fire, for example, that they can do it in the evenings after, after their work hour. There's so much to do. I think there's a fit for everybody out there that, uh, you know, would consider volunteering with the Red Cross.